There is a new project on OpenNTF called OpenNTF Domino API. The project is being developed by Nathan Freeman, Jesse Gallagher, Tim Trapconi, Paul Withers, Declan Lynch and René Winkelmeier. The project contains a Java API for IBM Domino, which comes with significant improvements and extensions compared to the Java API that comes out of the box with IBM Domino. On the project's homepage, you can see a list of project goals, and there is more documentation available in the wiki on GitHub and in the different blogs from the developers of this project. There's also a Java documentation available, hosted live, um, that you can browse through to see the new capabilities. Now, this API comes with a lot of new features. I won't be able to demonstrate all of them in this video, but I want to highlight some of the key extensions. In order to demonstrate some of the benefits of the OpenNTF Java API, I'm using here a code snippet that I copied from Tim's blog. This is a code snippet using the Lotus Domino API, and it iterates through a document collection. The same functionality can now be implemented using the OpenNTF API, um, and as you can see, the code is much shorter and easier to read. So let me highlight the key differences here. First of all, the memory management. Using the Lotus Domino API, you always have to call recycle as soon as possible to free up memory. Using the OpenNTF Java API, you don't have to do that any longer. It's done for you under the cover and happens magically. The second big difference here is the way you iterate through documents. In this case, using the Lotus Domino API, you use methods similarly to the Lotus Script APIs, get first document, get next document, and so forth. For Java developers, however, it's much more natural to use Java, the standard Java collections. As you can see in this case, a simple for loop is used here to iterate through the document collection. Another a third difference, key difference here is the way the exceptions are handled. Most of the methods in the Lotus Domino API throw a generic notes exception. Now, the OpenNTF Java API methods throw uh, can also throw exceptions, but they throw specialized exceptions so that you can handle them appropriately. And as you can see in this example, not all methods um, throw exceptions. So let me do a quick demo. There isn't much to demonstrate here, but just real quick to prove that it works. Um, I can run here the code using the Lotus Domino API. So I get the current database and then I get all documents, get first document, and then I loop through all of these documents and I have to recycle, I have to switch the next document and so forth, and then I'm done. Now using the OpenNTF Java API, Again, the, short, the code is much shorter. I can get the session, I get the current database, and then I can easily navigate through the documents, and I'm done. Next, I want to demonstrate another improvement that really helps to increase the developer productivity. So here I'm back in the code snippet using the Lotus Domino API, and as you know, as when I type a variable name and then um, a dot, I get this um, pop-up menu that shows me all the available methods, which is a really big help. And it also shows me the number of parameters and their types. However, it does not give me or show me the names of the parameters. So often or mostly as a developer, I have to go back into the full documentation to figure out what these parameters really mean. Now, when I go into the OpenNTF Java API and I type in each doc doc dot, then I can see not only the method names, but also the variables, uh, variable types and their names, which is a big improvement for developer productivity. Another really powerful feature of the OpenNTF Java API is the ability to store arbitrary data types as MIME in notes fields and notes documents, no matter how big this data is. So here's a really easy example. Um, I have my own Java object, a click object. Doesn't really matter what it does. Um, and I want to store it in a notes field in a document um, and the field is called clicks. 
So all I need to do is to call the method replace item value and there is an overloaded method that allows me to pass in an arbitrary Java object. Now once I've done that I can say each document save and it stores the um, Java object as a MIME data type in my notes document. And then later on I can iterate or I can access documents here and I can get my get back my click object using the get item value method. So let's take a really quick look. Um, I can trigger this functional func functionality um, right here. I can uh, navigate through it and here I do the replace item value and then I save it. And one more time for the second document and let's take a look how this looks in the notes client. When I open the document properties, properties here you can see my clicks field and this one contains now the MIME part um, including my Java class test.click um, and the values. So these were just some quick demos of some of the benefits of the OpenNTF Domino API. There's much more that I haven't covered. For example, there's some nice convenience functionality to handle dates. And there's also supposed to be a graph database implementation that comes with this project, as well as the ability to have transactions for Nodes databases.